Hi, welcome to Split View. I'm uh, Tom and this is Geordie. Howdy, howdy. So uh, last week it was Geordie's turn to present his topic and then we kind of talked about that and, uh, you know, we got such a such a great response from that video, you know. <laughs> I don't know about you, but uh, the, uh, the hour after I had people, you know, at my doors just like, you know, bashing it down, being like, holy shit, Tom, can I have your babies? Are you bisexual? <laughs> I want your man babies and your women babies. So yeah. I had uh, a yeah, very pretty, similar response. Pretty, pretty fucking good response. I had to keep it at bay because I have a girlfriend, though. I had to say, look, one's already one. You have to wait in line. But I love my girlfriend, so sorry. Wait in the door, please. Okay. And then I hired security to just shoot everyone on site. <laughs> pretty, pretty funny. So now we have no yeah. listeners left anyway. Yeah, yeah. So, uh... So Tom's hosting this time. He's done his research on a topic that I don't know about. He's loading up his notes now. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Um... But last week we talked about um, bioengineering and changing the human with things like technology to make you see really far and legs that make you crush things did, under them like a Terminator. Did we really talk about that though? I, I mean, don't know. I don't I'm pretty we... sure in the end we just ended up talking about random shit more than yeah. the actual topic, but I guess that's probably what you're here for, isn't it? Talked about Donald Trump for a while. Fuck yeah. So um, this this time, Geordie... Yeah. I'm uh this this is a bit topical. I'm gonna try to keep it like not political. Like there's, you know, there's some there's some things to be said that iTunes might not, not well fuck might not like about this. But uh, oh okay. So what I'm talking about now is government biometrics. Oh okay. And universal identification. Ooh. of people. Everyone's just a number, dude. Yeah, kind of. But everyone's yeah. a face, everyone's a fingerprint, everyone is a uh, DNA, you know. Yeah, everything's everyone... being collected. Yeah, yeah. So you are, uh, you know, kind of about Hong Kong at the moment, right? Yes. Yeah, you know, we're not going to like get into like why they're protesting and shit, but so the everyone's government aware that it's a problem. Yeah, yeah. So the, yeah. these people, right, they the government's doing shit that they don't like and they're like, "Hey, I'm going to protest, you know. I'm going to peacefully protest or, you know, not peacefully, but most most of the time peacefully, like they're just regular people. They're uh, fighting for what they believe in, and uh, they they're going out in masks, you know. And the uh, the government can ID them since China and uh, well mainland China and shit. They have uh, a big ID of faces and really? uh, gates and all. Yeah, they actually have this. So if you if they're going out to protest and they are being ID'd and like literally texted fines and like like summons Whoa. and shit. They're literally just protesting for what they believe in, and they're just being, like, arrested, basically. Jeez. So, so that's why they're wearing the mask, then? Yeah, but even then, like, there's, there's iris, like, scanning, and uh, there's another technology which isn't talked about. It's called gate ID. And uh, do you know what a gate is? No. Do I want to? Well, no, that's no, fine. It's A gate is, 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 like, how you move, essentially. So, like, a dog it walks on all fours. That's its gate. And humans, oh, right, right, right. Gate, they yeah. they walk on you know two feet mostly, and but everyone has a unique way of mostly walking. Mostly two feet. Well, yeah. What yeah, fucking freak ass people you seen walking around on all fours, dude? Allergics and shit. No, I'm not fucking discriminating. <laughs> I've seen the grudge. Majority of people have two feet and they use them to walk. <laughs> yes, okay. <yeah. laughs> okay. So yeah, like I have a pretty, uh, I have a pretty unique like walking style because one of my feet is fucked up. So even if I was wearing a mask or like oh, they can track that yeah too. they can literally ID what? me like the Chinese government I don't know how the fuck they do this but they have they have a database of people's walking styles faces fingerprints Jesus. IDs and uh since 27 I have this in my notes since 2017 if you jaywalk you will be face ID'd and literally texted a fucking fine Jesus Christ like petty crimes that like you, they just don't need to be punished. Like, Jay walking, hey, you know, the lights aren't going fast enough. I need to get somewhere. Let me just walk across an empty fucking road. Yeah, there's no one there. Might as well. I'm not yeah. in anyone's way. Yeah. That's that's what's been happening, like, since 2017. Oh, and fuck. they uh, they go a step further. Like, the police in, uh, in certain countries, they have a website that you can go to that lists has a picture of a jaywalker, their, their name, first and last, and parts of their ID number. What? Yeah, you can just view that. And it's what? like a it's a public shaming website. Like it literally updates every minute. It says, "Hey, these people are stupid." It like zooms in on their face and shit. What the Yeah. That's just something that's happening. 
And, that seems uh, very legal. Yeah, yeah. So I, I wanted to talk about this since you you have a very negative response, right? And I yeah. do too, but there's parts of it that are good and there's parts of it that are bad. Like, uh, you, you might... You'll have to convince me of the good because so far I'm well, not seeing much. But Yeah, that's that's the thing. Like, uh, like, so a while ago there was kind of a push to develop this kind of technology for supermarkets. And I'm thinking you could okay. probably... You might that I can understand. Yeah, you see where I'm going with this. See, like, <laughs> it's it's the whole like if you use it for good or if you use it for evil. Yeah, exactly. And uh, even if you're using it for for good, like if you just hire someone shitty and they make a bad system, that shit can be hacked and people just steal oh, your like, true, true. ID and yeah. shit. But you can't rely on it. The uh, the way that it's being pushed, and some people think this is kind of like a uh, like a, a Trojan horse kind of thing, is that. In supermarkets, you know how, like, the doors open automatically? Yeah, yeah. There'd be a camera there, and then it would, like, scan your face, and if you're, like, a bad person or, like, someone who's been banned from the store, it just won't let you enter, or it'll notify people. Oh. So, I feel like you wow. would kind of, like... you Like, I would like that in my store, you know? I would like that too, yeah. Yeah, because... Assuming, of course, the software was refined enough that it actually worked. Yeah. Yeah. A minimum 90% of the time. That's a... Uh, that that's another thing. Uh, have you seen the movie Minority Report? No, probably not. It's no. it's starring Tom Cruise. You've you've probably like seen gifs of it. He's like moving his hands around and shit. But it's that's basically like a utopia where um something called pre precognition or something exists, where essentially Tom Cruise is some like future cop and he he uses like hand psychic power shit to like view crimes before they're gonna happen. Okay. And, like it's it's fucking weird, but essentially. In this movie, people are arrested for crimes they they are going to commit. And Whoa. there's the kind of a uh, like obviously it's pretty uh it's pretty easy to tell that Tom Cruise is gonna like be, you know, arrested for a crime they didn't commit. Yeah, so yeah. there's the idea that this technology can misidentify someone or like wrongfully identify someone and since it's like some black box technology thing, people are just gonna trust it. True. So you could have this system and it can just mis-ID someone and then suddenly, like, you know, you go protest and suddenly you're marked as, like, an enemy of the state, you know? Jesus. So, I can't get behind it. Yeah. I can't get yeah. behind it. Like, just, with, with something as scary as that, just purely from what you said, people will trust this. Me, I don't know a goddamn thing about, like, what's behind the scenes of this thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. someone who knows a bit more about it, they could probably talk their way out of it. If you if you got into this situation, you could probably like justify yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, I could like bring up me. Know, if yeah. I went up there and I was wrongfully accused, what am I going to say? Oh, this this I didn't technology do it, is wrong. I, didn't do I swear it. I didn't do it. And they go, yeah, well, we've caught you red-handed yeah, with this yeah. like super futuristic <laughs> program. Okay. Yeah, this supercomputer identified you, and it's it's been right ninety nine percent of the time, so we can trust you. You know, this has worked for us before. So yeah, so you're you know lying, and you're just a criminal. You know. Yeah, lock you up in the clank, dude. See you later. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's one of the there, there are benefits like the supermarket thing and like there's the idea of a uh, payment being universal. Like instead of a, a credit card or like a pin, you can just like look at machine and or like scan your iris and you pay with okay. it. Okay, that's cool. That but, would handle a lot of theft problems. Yeah, yeah. But there's there's the uh, one of like the main kind of opposition to this is that what we were just talking about is the integrity of it, like how much it'll work yeah. and. Like, all this info is being stored somewhere, right? And it has to be, like... If, even if it's decrypted, it has to be decrypted to go to, like, the terminal or whatever, so... So there's... the wrong person standing close enough or well, being no, in the right place could... Yeah, yeah, there's that too, but essentially, like, someone could, like, hack into this database of, like... Millions of yeah, people. Yeah, like, it's IDs, just... like, <laughs> people's personal details and shit, like, biometric data, like, their faces and shit, so... That's why That's, that's kind of one of the main, like opposition points is these the integrity of these kinds of systems fair enough much more than like the uh the idea of them themselves which is it's still pretty bad like i i don't think we need to be watched per se like no this is not we we are do we have a crime problem yes do yeah. we need this no probably not no. i don't think so because things that we have now that use biometrics like your phone to pay like yeah. and using your yeah. finger even that doesn't work most of the time well not most of the time like it works yeah but it still doesn't work every time so not every terminal does it not every like this that the other and it would have to come out fully working 
with yeah and yeah, i guess so. like i don't trust anyone Tell any co- any big company to do that properly yeah without keeping all of my data thing is too at the moment like you mentioned phones and all that phones are closed like circuit at the moment like if you uh, think about how the phone works, when you scan your fingerprint, it isn't sending that to like Samsung or Apple and then oh, IDing yeah. it. It's, local. it's a it's a secure enclave on your phone, like a processor that only communicates to the fingerprint reader and just says yes or no. So these okay. like the system of like local like identification is fine, you know, like phones deck that's fine. People kind of got freaked out about Apple doing it, like they were one of the first because it's like, oh, Apple has my fucking fingerprint now, but that's 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 fine in my mind since. There's, there's realistically, like, no way to kind of get at that, and there's no real point since yeah. it's only been used at your phone. But these systems, they are, like, centralized in one place. Like, the terminal, like, credit card terminal, per se, it would scan your, like, fingerprint or, like, face or something and then send that data somewhere else that you don't know where God that is. Where. Yeah, and, like, that's just, like, you know, just a link that exists. Like, that data is somewhere. You don't know where it is. Or what it's being used hands. for. Yeah, exactly. There's... There's the uh, the idea too that like marketing is is like one of the biggest things on the internet, right? Yeah. Like that's what derives everything is yeah. marketing. So this biometric data that can be used to identify you through like basically any camera using like gate detection, like face oh, ID and all that. Goodness. Like marketing. What if like Facebook right now they're they're on trial for like just literally giving data to people and be like, hey, just just come up with something for this. So can you imagine? this outside company that develops these systems and manages them is like, hey, here's uh, here's all the resources you need to fucking identify someone anywhere in the world just using, like, an image. Jesus. Yeah, and I know, like, Facebook is constantly listening in to your phone, you know? Like, they're, they're directing ads towards you based on things that you're talking about to that's, your friends. That's not even just, like, a Facebook thing. That's just Android. Like, if you talk about Oreos in front of your phone, like, enough, it'll, it'll recommend Oreos. But that's... That that says to me that they they we have technology right now that is so power efficient you can just have a microphone running constantly. That's and that's, that's the makes me comfortable. Me. That yeah. makes me very comfortable. Very comfortable as a consumer. Yeah. That being said, like ever, I mean, it is a very valid thing to worry about your own privacy. But what unless you are a fucking weed dealer, what are they really going to steal from you? Assuming it's just big companies listening to it. They're going to direct ads towards you and they're going to figure out if you're making long phone calls and things like that. But like, it, it, I don't think unless, uh, yeah, unless you're like a big high level rapper or something like you, you've got <laughs> okay. some profile and a reason for someone to hack you. Yeah. Like what, what, if I have a Google home at home, my dad worries about this. He worries about having a Google home in the yeah. house because it's always listening in. I have like three of those. Yeah, exactly. I have one, just not yeah. plugged in at the moment because I haven't got around to doing it. But like, sure. it's um, it's always there. But mm. what information could it possibly be gathering from my dad that he's so worried about? I I actually kind of know, like, kind of like, so there's when when you're not speaking to your Google Home, it's not sending anything to the internet. Like you can you can check this, or well, it might be checking every like hour for an update. But what it does is that. It uses local, like, offline voice recognition, and it listens for the keyword, like, Bodeidoogle. <laughs> but, no, my phone didn't trip. I thought it would. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, so, it, like, it's listening for the keywords. It's not sending anything. But, like, you've heard, like, talking to me over Discord how many times my Google Home triggers. Oh, yeah. And that's literally, like, it'll trigger, and now it's sending data, like, out. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's a recent thing that's come out that, like, Google has people just listening to the audio files. Yeah. Not, not like nefariously, not like jacking off to it, but they have people. Oh, you don't know. What did you... <laughs> your your lack of reaction worries me to me just saying that. Ah, uh, you're well... just stone faced, like yeah, jacking off to it. Yeah, yeah, that's normal. Yeah, <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. That's why okay. I live in a world where not much surprises me anymore. <laughs> okay, but yeah, they they have people listening to it. They say it's for like accent tuning, like uh-huh. uh, they did this, like when uh, is they they had um, maybe. what's that? Tune in his fucking wiener, maybe. Okay. <laughs> sure. They, uh, they, Android phones could do uh, Google Home or Google Now, as it used to be called before we had Google Homes, and they used that data to refine it for the Australian accent, since some words are different. And then after having the home in America and tweaking it, probably getting Australian people to talk to it, then they put it out in here, and they're doing that for every country manually. 
like uh, they release the uh, the Google Assistant version, or I guess it's it's out for everything, and they use the files from people's phones to fucking calibrate it, just going in huh. and, like tune keywords and shit, which is creepy. What do you mean, like voice memos and stuff? Just literally talking to Google Assistant. Like if you oh. talk to Google Assistant, that file could be listened over to like see if it was getting everything correct, huh. and then tune it specifically for like your accent. I mean, I I was always curious how they catered towards different accents yeah. and stuff. So it does make sense that someone has to listen in. Like, we do have to pay somewhat of a price if we want some level of convenience, I think. Yeah, yeah. Like, if you want it to be accurate, if, like, I don't rely on the Google Assistant, I know a lot of people do. Like, there's a lot of people... really, though. It's not that good. Well, so. no. <laughs> but, like, there's, like, businessmen out there and stuff who will, like, that's literally, that's like, always, like, keyword oh, to yeah, make phones yeah. go. <laughs> okay. Um, schedule a meeting for me at four o'clock yeah. tomorrow and then they they like go off that uh google text cindy to get the uh the morning after pill i don't want any of this coming back from <laughs> google can you get me a good number of a lawyer yeah please i'm gonna yeah. need one keep knocking these sexual harassment charges out of the park but i've got one more here okay can you imagine how freaked out like rich people who use google home must be after like this this thing that came out about like people listening to it because they, they're fucking doing like illegal shit well, not There's everyone. no way they're not doing illegal shit. And it's well, like, that's true, yeah. Oh, hey, I, asking Google for illegal shit is just out there in an audio form that people can listen to? Oh, wow, I'm fucking dead. Well, I'm well, not dead. I'm going to die. Yeah. going to be lynched. Well, everyone's going to die, but... I'm not, Joey. Oh. I'm not going to die. Oh, sorry to hear that. Okay. Because I don't know what you're going to do forever. <laughs> just live, you know? Yeah, hang around. Yeah. Calibrate the Google Home to perfection. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know why... I don't think they'd have Google Homes, let's be honest. If they're that rich, they don't need Google Homes. Well, even like They have Android a literal phones. human dedicated to doing everything for Android them. Android phones. Rich people have Android phones. Well, even nah, they Siri. don't, dude. Siri. Rich people use iPhones, dude. They have yeah, the... fucking Siri. Well, Apple well, yeah. does the same yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, do the yeah, same yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Just... Somehow I feel like Apple's more malicious with it than Microsoft. <laughs> okay. Do you agree? Well, they have a trillion dollars for a reason, so... Yeah. yeah. That is fucked when you told that to me. Yeah. They're not... Like, they... I think Amazon is like a trillion dollars now. Google, obviously, but... uh, What the fuck do you do every day if you're Jeff Bezos? What does he do with all of his slave money? Fucking disrespect women and his wife? Yeah, pretty much. (laughs) I guess no amount of money can stop you being a fucking asshole. Figure out new ways to make their workers have mental breakdowns from being overworked. Dude, when I heard about that, I was like, this doesn't surprise me. But how did it go this long without yeah. anyone noticing? Well, it's, they have fucking, they're like, rich as fuck. They just fire people and rehire them if they, like, uh, yeah, I'm going to quit. I'm going to, like, why campaign. is anyone applying? Because, you know, money, Jordy, money. Mo- yeah, I know, but, like, it's Amazon, surely... they pay a lot, Jordy. Yeah, but you be... they have people money. must know can... after this scam not to go Amazon and fucking apply. Amazon wants to give you money. Yeah, I guess, yeah. And then they also want to take it, and also your yeah. life, because yeah. you can't go to the bathroom without permission, like school. <laughs> well, you can, but you have a strict timer. Yeah. You have to collect and packages Even if you're, like, you're 11 floors up, if you don't make it, tough shit, bring a bucket yeah. next time. Yeah. Um, you know, um, we have Amazon in Australia. I don't really use it, though. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Yeah. You can't, it's fucking more expensive. Yeah. And it just uses normal shipping, so what's the point of it? Like, also, I don't like the way it looks, which is actually somewhat important to me. I don't like the way it's Reddit though. You can you like Reddit Mobile's fine. Eh. I don't go. I don't use Reddit on my computer. Really? Yeah. Reddit Mobile's laid out pretty weirdly. Yeah, I mean, it took some getting used to for me. I'm a big UI guy, I guess, because I'm I'm a normie, dude. Use my like, Use Adobe XD. Yeah, Adobe XD. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If it looks nice, then my my brain can handle it. But okay. if it doesn't, then it can't. So I don't. I know Reddit is where the good maymays are at, so I had to install it, dude. What is your opinion on Adobe Audition's user interface, Jody? Yeah. I I use, uh, what's, um, 8chan? 8chan, yeah. What is it? 8chan don't exist anymore, motherfucker. Oh. (laughs) That's 4chan. Not 4chan. There's one that starts with 8. That's cringe as fuck. Yeah, 8chan. Is it 8chan? Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's like normie shit. No, it's not. It's like 8 shit or something. No, it's 8chan. Okay. I like, like like literally Google eight chan right now. That's that's nah, what it is. I'll believe you. I believe you. Okay. Okay. What what were you thinking of? What what was the website you were thinking? Well, it's of? just like the one cringe, or that I know to be cringe. Yeah. Like meme website that no one uses, and like meme only website. people who are fuckwits use it. Apparently. I funny. I funny could be any one of these, dude. <laughs> I just uh, got funny junk. 
What are you fun? Not funny junk. No. What are you thinking of? It starts with a fucking eight, dude. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. There are memes on eight chan, but there's like murders. Murder is on eight chan. Well, so many, uh, as well. so many mass shooters manifestos have been posted on eight chan. Uh... Yeah. Cloud Flare, the uh, the provider that we used to do our domain, they uh they fucking just were like, nah, man, we ain't we ain't supporting you. And uh, what Cloud Flare does is it it routes IP addresses and it provides TDOS protection. So instead of hackers like pinging eight chan server directly, they'll ping Cloudflare. So they fucking need that. <laughs> and Cloudflare posted like a Twitter thing saying, "Yeah, fuck off, eight chan. We're not supporting you." <laughs> now eight chan is no more. Rest in pieces. Yeah, Ripperoni. Do we have four chan in Australia anymore? I thought it got banned. What does that mean, Jordy? I'm sure. I'm sure. What does I that saw mean? Some... No, what, I'm what sure. What is that sentence you just said? I am sure. I use four chan like every day. No, I know you do, but I'm just saying. I'm sure. <laughs> well, it's I saw... just banned for you, Jordy. If just you don't you. have like a VPN or something, I'm sure I heard somewhere that four chan was blocked in Australia. Let me bring up four chan no, right okay. now. Okay. No VPN. All right. You know what? Okay. I believe you. While while I'm googling this, Jordy. Just just read a couple of sentences out of the good book. Okay. Why the fuck do you have a copy of the Necronomicon? Because it's fucking good. <laughs> it's like a Lovecraft one, dude. What, yeah, how much that's, was this? That's pretty expensive. Spent, what, when did you buy this? Spent, oh my god, what is this? Spent a bit too much on it, but... yeah. What is this a layout of? Yeah, I'm on 4chan slash gif. Yeah. <laughs> you bought this on 4chan? No, no, no. I'm, I'm on 4chan right now without a VPN. Oh, oh dude, be careful. Yeah. Don't look up. Gonna get hacked, children. dude. Gonna get hacks. Could use VPN to access 4chan. Could have good virus have protection. Have you read it all yet? Nah, nah. Just bought it for the meme. Ah, uh, somewhat. I like Straight it's. Straight up have a Necronomicon. I, I like how it's golden bossed as well. It's 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 a pretty good. It's book, a nice though. looking book. <laughs> like Lovecraft's HP Lovecraft, he writes like pretty good. Oh no! I've, when I saw it was Lovecraft, I was like, huh. I've I've definitely am aware of him. Yeah, yeah. He is a man who existed at one point. Yeah. Uh, I, I want you to do something right now, Jordy. Pull out your phone. All right, hang on. I'm gonna pull. And out penis. Google, Google, what was the name of H.P. Lovecraft's cat? I butchered what that pronunciation. Was the name. Just the you know, I'm I'm just gonna get close to the microphone, you know. H. Just so you can kind of we can hear your reaction. Love, cat. cat. Yeah. Just just put that in. The name. Of, oh, I'm not gonna say that. Yeah, yeah. I am not gonna say that. Yeah. That is N word man. Yeah. For those of you listening out there, that can't you, be real. Why would he? Do make... you know what color his cat was? Black. Yep. Wow. <laughs> Thank you for that. I I don't know why he did that. Uh, oh, well, actually, I do know. He was. If really... he's writing shit like the goddamn Necronomicon. Well, the, the thing about the Necronomicon, it's like it's about eldritch abominations and shit, but the aliens in his stories are minorities. That's literally what it is. Like he, he um, like the aliens are like met well, not metaphors, but like he writes stories about aliens and like eldritch abominations, which are like allegories for like racist racism. Nice. And like not being accepted in society. Like, like he's he's just racist. And then he goes and calls his cat that. Yeah, he's he's fucking racist as fuck. And really making a statement there, dude. Yeah, and people have figured out that like some stories like directly like describe him his experiences like being gay or something, even though he hates gay people. So okay, I don't, I don't well think actually, he... I think I've heard that like what they go through like a denial phase. Yeah, if, yeah, and then they end up like how do you, how do you know so much? Trying about to this hate story? so well because a lot of like I listen to a lot of true crime stuff. And a lot of them, like, oh. <laughs> are, like they're, they're, okay. some of them are gay, and they and when they're brought up, okay. they're all brought up. Like, there's not many serial killers that we know about who are like killing now. It's yeah. all like from the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. And like when they were like, it wasn't as accepted as it is now. Thankfully, it is now. But like, they were all talking about what? <laughs> is your Necronomicon glowing? My <laughs> Google's been recording the whole thing. Yeah, You've been saying the whole time, dude. Google just You're right. I just looked down at my phone. And it said, "Google, what was the name of H.P. Lovecraft's cat?" And then the sentence is on the screen that I should not, you know, <laughs> say. That, yeah, that's I think she didn't fun. read that out. If you had your, uh, that's pretty ironic. Speaker <laughs> on. That's like, funny. Somewhat talking about like, you know, fucking data recording shit, and we then nearly just got a uh... got fucking docs, dude. Yeah, do- docs, yeah. <laughs> docs by do- Google. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, you didn't ask for his, your address. Well, it's fucking sending out my address. Google has my address like 10 times over. Yeah, that's true. They have my fucking credit card number. Yeah, I was about to say Google has yeah. my credit card number. Which is too, useful. Yeah. I want them to have my credit card number because yeah. I don't want to fucking... I actually don't know where my credit card is right now. 
Like I know that for me, I use internet buying more than I use anything else. Yeah. So yeah. if it's got it on hand for me, brilliant. If it doesn't, that's yeah. annoying. I don't want to have to do things myself because I'm fucking lazy. I, that, to, to bring it around to the actual topic, but that's that's one of the, the ways that we get these technologies is that it starts out as a comfort and then it kind of yeah. evolves from there. Like I guess that's how they have to introduce it to people. Yeah, as well, and things, well, obviously everything has to have a purpose to people, but basically it starts out like that. Like, it's a useful thing, like, oh, you know, you can pay with your face. It's good, you know? Yeah. Oh, we just need to store your face somewhere and we need to record your face. And then, oh, wow, the government uses this to get your like passport well i guess we get a better enroll everyone from birth fucking scan the baby's fingerprints i don't know if they have fingerprints but you know what i mean like suddenly they have everyone they have fingers that's a good quote geordie babies have well, you fingers. said you don't know if they have fingerprints fingerprints yeah well they just have smoothness on their fingers ask google if babies have fingerprints okay let's let's <laughs> let's dox ourselves live yeah man hey google do babies have fingerprints Here's the name of H.P. Lovecraft's cat. <laughs> a person's fingerprints are formed when they are a tiny, developing baby in their mother's womb. So ah, yes, they do. So, yeah. so that's, that's you know... Yeah, you can be ID'd from birth, people. Yeah, you're yeah, not safe anywhere. Obviously, irises are still, like, a thing when you're born. And iris iris identification is the new, like... That's the, the step above uh, Face ID and all that. Since Face ID is great, sure, like, Apple does it great. Uh, Samsung. Better? Radar. Rate ah uh, well, I mean the radar's not even face ID. You probably could; it'd just be intensive. But the radar's literally just to detect when you're getting close to the phone, and it helps you change songs easily. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, easily, quote unquote. Yeah, but uh, that's like iris ID is the scariest part about it. Like face ID, right? That you like you can have a camera that's like 4K and you can identify a face from like a kilometer or so away. But iris ID, you can you you not so much use like a normal camera, but it's like there are systems that have... They use a camera for IDing a person, and then they'll drive a little robotic arm with a camera on it with, like, a hyper-zoom lens and then zoom right into your eye. That's, like, the Gee. kind of system that we can see in the future. Is like, person detected and then, like, a laser fucking rangefinder thing just swings by and IDs you instantly. That's terrifying. And with irises, if you need to see, you have your eyes open. And even if you're wearing sunglasses, it's near infrared light. It will just go straight through the fucking sunglass. Someone's going to make something to shield it. I don't know how you <laughs> would, yeah, but yeah. someone would have... To, like, that's, that's can, terrifying. But... Like, if they, like... Oh, of course, I'm thinking of, like, futuristic cops where we don't have them anymore. It's just these, like, yeah. flying bots which just, like, ID you and have, like, a things. super, like, dark, deep voice where it's, like, <laughs> target identified. Yeah. And they just obliterate you with a fucking... Freeze criminal. Yeah, yeah. You have 20 seconds to comply. Yeah. Fucking Ed 209's him. Like, what's that fucking... Uh, Oblivion? Is it Oblivion? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, with the little... That that music movie has such good sound design. Oh, yeah. I, I was if... watching it the other day. Oh, wow, really? Yeah, it's like... It still holds up, dude. Yeah, it's I like, was... some people don't like Tom Cruise. I don't like Tom Cruise. He's not... No, like, he's strange. I can't... See, I, like, I, I only see him that. as Tom Cruise. Okay. Like, I, if he's in a movie, yeah. he's Tom Cruise. He's yeah, exactly. not anyone yeah. else. He's, he's not a very good actor, to be honest. No, but I mean, like, he's got a very high reputation. He's typecast I, as fuck. Yeah. yeah. And that, I don't think we were around for the generation of movies that he I was mean, really in. Kind of. Yes like, and no. Still, like, we like, were a bit young them. for it, I think. Yeah, we still watch them. But we have seen them, yeah. Like, the yeah. Mission Impossible and whatnot that he's in. Like, yeah. He has, he has a type of movie that he's mm. in. Yeah, yeah. But, like, Oblivion is a cool idea for a movie like I like that movie yeah it was good. I, I mean I don't watch it for the story necessarily but I like like I, I like sound sound is very important it to makes me. everything if yeah. you have a good sound system dude like you can yeah. make a bad movie into a good movie yeah, exactly yeah like I, I've heard that sound people say that sound is half of the picture but I would prefer to watch a movie with great sound than absolutely than terrible video absolutely or me great too. great uh, yeah. great video actually I think a rocket jump actually did like a you know rocket jump the yeah, YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they made like a video literally demonstrating that well that's why like a lot of people like to watch um like planet earth because they've ticked both boxes yeah exactly like yeah. the sound design is great and everything looks fucking incredible they were uh, if i remember correctly they were one of the first like 4k blu-ray releases they were. Like, i think they were planet the first earth. yeah yeah like, like the first like in uh in proper like mm. 4k good like some people were like half asked putting it out but yeah, I think they they yeah. did it right the first time. Do you there's there's something scandalous about the 4K 
DVD or Blu-ray industry that I don't know if you know, but if you go to JB Hi-Fi and you buy like uh, Avengers Endgame 4K, right? Mm-hmm. What what resolution do you think that that DVD that Blu-ray would be? Well, see, I only found out recently that like my 4K monitor yeah. is like not actually 4K. It's uh, it's it's UHD 4K. It's uh, it's basically resolution is working base two, so. Uh, yeah, two, so, four, eight, sixteen. It's yeah, a multiple yeah. of eight, essentially, or not eight, but you know. Yeah. Yeah. You saw this the other day with my TV, right? You're mm. like, why is your TV four oh nine six? Because mine is DCI four K, which is like filmic four K. So yeah. four oh nine six divided by two is two or four eight. So it's it's a base two like it's a base two number essentially. Whereas normal TV is a UHD, so they're thirty eight forty, which isn't technically. Yeah. yeah. It's. I mean, it's four K because it's twenty one sixty. But the uh, the width isn't like it isn't correct. Either. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, correct. Yeah. It's yeah. well, it, it is and it isn't like uh, thirty eight forty by. Does it just 60... like make it easier for them to do it that it's, way? It's it's the fucking film industry with their like their standards the, is fucking the strange. Letterboxing and stuff. I I think I got that backwards. Hold on. So thirty eight forty by twenty one sixty. That is okay. That's sixteen by nine. So you know yeah. like ratios, right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine, mine Whereas. My my TV is DCI 4K, so it has it's like 16 no it's 17 by 9 or something like that. Huh. So it's it's filmic 4K. Right. Like if you were to get a, a Red Epic, like a Red camera, right? Yeah, yeah. You know Red camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or a Arri Alexa, it would probably shoot in DCI 4K or shoot in 8K, but yeah. it would shoot in filmic 8K. I want to say so yeah. it would be like 17 by 9 or whatever it is, and. uh yeah. So, oh, right. We're talking about the Blu-ray. So, yeah. What what resolution like do you think that Blu-ray would be? I'm guessing not filmic, but regular 4K. Would judging you believe, by your face, I'm guessing it's like half of that. Would you believe 1080p? Fuck off. Do you know what it is? What is it? So, you, like, when films are made right, they'll record it in 8K. They'll crop that into like 4K because you know the, it was shaky or yeah. something. And then they send that off to an effects house, and uh, effects take a fucking age. Like, especially Avengers, they take ages. The entire to movie is effects. <laughs> yeah, they like VFX take fucking yeah. like they have farms and farms. So rendering in 4K, that's that's a no go. Yeah, that's, well, yeah. They you can do it, but it's fucking it intensive. Needs some beefy specs. It's literally if it's minimum four ta- four times like you know the time that yeah. 1080p, and even more since you know sampling. Uh, uh, anisotropic filtering, like all that kind of, uh, like you know, graphic stuff. Fun stuff. But, so, when film is made, there's something called a master, which is like a ref. Like we have a master right now in our audition. It's essentially saying like this is this is what our set bit rate uh, audio like file is going to be. Yeah. So most films are mastered in 1080p. Okay. So the film gets downscaled to 1080p. The thing is, uh, 4K downscaled to 1080p is better than shooting in 1080p. Like, do you know what, right. yep, do you know yep, what yep. subsampling is and all that? Yeah. So, yeah, you like, you still... You're getting the information, but still in 1080p. Like, the light information is condensed, so it looks better. But they... they all the effects houses might be walking, working in 4K, and they might be working in 1080p. Probably 1080p, since it's faster. Or, like, uh, what is it, uh, 2K or 3K or whatever? Mm. Like, a, uh, what is it, 1440p? Yeah. You know, like, yeah, halfway between, yeah. yeah. But yeah, the film will be mastered in 1080p, and then obviously, that's just a Blu-ray, right? How yeah, are they selling yeah, yeah. you a 4K thing? Well, what they do is they run it through a machine that upscales it to 4K, and that that huh. might sound kind of like what the fuck I'm getting ripped yeah. off, but so you you've heard of a TV upscale, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you can buy a TV, well, even like your TV probably if you put in a 1080p signal. You could probably enable an option to like sharpen it and like add yeah, more detail, yeah. so it's not you just literally like stretching it out. Yeah, that that doesn't work. Like that's shitty, right? Yeah, that's yeah, fucking terrible works. because it's running in real time. It has to take the input and then display it within like eighty milliseconds. Yeah, it has a restriction. Whereas uh, a film company, production company with like infinite money, essentially infinite time. They have machines that use neural networks and like machine learning to upscale 1080p to 4K and get close to 4K native. Wow. Okay. So I mean, it's obviously working. Otherwise, I would have heard like yeah, an uproar yeah. about this. Like, 
yeah, I, I fucking, I was like, I didn't believe that at first. I was like, what the fuck? That can't be yeah, like... Yeah, like, that's, that almost seems counterintuitive, especially when yeah. it's like... Yeah. Well, I suppose the whole problem with editing in 4K would be too hard, but... Yeah, you can see why they, this is not, like, talked about often, though, because... Well, yeah, I mean, it's sort of false advertising. I mean, like... Like, it is and it isn't. So the newest, uh, the newest like, RTX cards, they have something called DLSS and, uh, like, some, it has some name, but essentially... You know the new RTX cards have Turing like art ray tracing cores. Ray tracing, yeah. That's that's specific hardware that's geared to run like specific things really fucking fast. Like you can do ray tracing on older graphics cards; it would be just be slow. So yeah, newer newer like AMD and Nvidia graphics cards have specific hardware to do this upscaling as well. And right, okay. The thing is, like it it works, yeah, but it's not. It's not as good as the movie ones, but purpose. there's always going to be this stigma of, oh, I've, I've tried a 4K upscale on my TV. It fucking sucks. Yeah, so yeah. this is why it's not yeah. like talked about, you know, like yeah. no film company is going to put a fucking sticker on the box saying upscaled from 1080p. Yeah, that's but a very good point. The thing is like you can view comparisons online and it fucking works. It really does. Since what, what, what they do, they train it. Like, I think we talked about neural networks last time, but essentially you, maybe, yeah. you give it an output and you give it an input and then you tell it hey replicate this and then you just keep doing that over and over again with new data until it becomes so good at doing one specific thing that like you can give it any new data and it can just do it like instantly huh. so what they do they get 1080p footage and they uh actually no they get 4k footage they downscale it to 1080p so and then they train the like machine reference. on that yeah, so the yeah. machine knows what 1080p footage from 4K looks like, and they just tell it to do it in reverse. Huh. And they train this for, like, hours and hours, and like, days, months, years even. Yeah. This is, like, expensive technology. It runs it on, like... sounds it. Yeah, I mean, it's it's simple, but it it's, like, it takes so much training and resources and shit, but they, they have these boxes that cost, like, a million dollars to use, and Jeez. they will upscale 1080p footage to 4K, and it looks fucking great. Wow. And that's what... I mean, not every film does this. Like, uh, there are you can find a Wikipedia list of films that are mastered in 4K, and right. some people think they actually look like worse than the upscaled ones, just because the upscaler is tuned to specifically like sharpen details and shit. So, well, I mean, hey, if there's like another level of editing in there, like I can see why that might be the case. If it looks like a little more refined that way, if it's run yeah. through a, like a machine rather than a person. Yeah. Yeah. Which makes sense, I guess. But, like, I was going to ask, is that how they go from, like... Um, I know a couple of, like, movies and stuff have been um, brought from 4 by 3 ratios to 16 by 9 1080 sort yeah, of thing. Like, yeah, yeah. Is that the same sort of thing? But I imagine it's harder to go from, like, a square to a rectangle. Like, I don't know how it doesn't come out warped. The thing is, they, they can't do that. Like, that's that's an interesting topic because, as I said before, like, the, the world of film standards is fucking disastrous. Like... Uh, I don't know if you know, but in Australia, you, you use 50 hertz power. Like, yeah, yeah. And then in America, they use 60. So when game consoles were being created, I promise this has something to do with what you just thought. <laughs> when game consoles were created, like, we didn't have advanced technology. So the NES, it would use the cycling of the power as the clock speed. So oh. the NES ran, like, 10% or not 10%. Like, it ran faster because it was 60 hertz than in Australia because it's 50 hertz right. or power region. So when it came time to, well, it was past then, but the same kind of principle was applied to broadcast. So okay. TVs, they like, there are things called crystal oscillators they do use to keep time. Like right. they oscillate very specifically like GPS satellites use atomic, like atoms and cesium and shit to keep time. But that's expensive back in like 1970 or whatever, or even yeah. before then, like way before then. So what they would do, they would use the the same oscillation of the power to create like the lines in the TV. Okay. But right. If you think about that, you so you have five seventy six p. You you've probably heard that number, yep. and then yep. there's four eighty. But so four eighty is like sixty hertz, I think, whereas five seventy six is fifty hertz. So there's two different standards. Like the it's not exactly. I think I just got them some of them wrong, but. Yep. Basically, the two power standards, like, uh, created different, like, resolutions. Okay. So there's always been this, like, disconnect of resolutions. And what they would do to com combat this is that w when they would film these shows, they would use something called an open mat. So the sensor on a camera is, like, rectangular or, like, square. 
and because it's film it has theoretically infinite resolution yeah and they would create two masters for each of the regions so like there would be the uh four by three or five by three like 576 or whatever p gotcha and when it came time to put those films to hd sometimes they still had those masters and that's how they would like kind of convert ah. that to hd and one famous example is that uh, Malcolm in the Middle was put on Netflix recently, or like a couple of years ago. Right. And it was the open matte version in widescreen, so they used body doubles for the kid at some <laughs> point. You would be watching, and there's just some fucking creepy, like, midget gnome guy with, like, a wig on on the <laughs> side, because it was meant to be in 4x3, whereas you're seeing it in 16x9. So you're seeing all the extras and all the off-camera yeah, stuff. Yeah, That's awesome. It's fucking creepy. Like, Why it's... would they not have vetted that before putting it on Netflix? Because you, you can't do anything about it. Like, well, yeah. There's something called Pan and Scan that was used to... Uh, this this is an I like I know a lot about film like I I watch I watch like a lot of YouTube channels like I didn't know all this obviously there's yeah. a channel called Technology Connections he uh he investigates niche shit like this right that's really cool but uh there's a technology called pan and scan so you know how you go to a cinema and it's in like wide as fuck yeah. it's in like twenty one by nine like really fucking wide well Massive. they were still showing films in twenty one by nine when VHS existed. So how do you oh, yeah. think how do you think VHS was like how do you think movies were taken from twenty by twenty one by nine and put on VHS? Like how do you think they did that? Just by condensing the fuck out of it? To yeah. fit on the the best media device they had at the time? <laughs> well do you do you, would you really watch a fucking like CRT image with two fucking huge black bars on top and No, bottom? no I wouldn't. Like you grew up with VHS, right? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I knew, I knew you were rich, Geordie. Do you know what a VHS is? I know what a fucking VHS <laughs> is, dude. Yeah, but what's the. I've got all the Steve Owen VHSs. I have all oh, of them. Yeah. The okay. original ones, yeah. dude. <laughs> I had, like, uh, fucking. Not Play School. What? Uh, Rugrats. I had, like, Rugrats, a lot of Rugrats. Nice. And yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. I think I have, like, a Star Wars VHS that's probably worth, like, oh, a shit. billion fucking dollars. Nice. I want to talk about that as well after I conclude this, this part. But. So they would use Pan and Scan, which sounds pretty self explanatory. Yeah. Yep. They would. You've used Sony Vegas, right? You yeah. know how you have that little square and you can move it around? That's yep. what they would literally do. So it would it was someone's job to take Star Wars and then manually move that box oh, around. Oh, fuck It was that. fucking every terrible. every frame? Yeah. Like, can you, can you imagine watching Alien and just having the box slowly move around? Oh, my like, fucking Like, at different God, speeds, it would be comical. It I, would just ruin it. Like, the cinematography is just fucking gone. I'm just thinking about how fucking, cr- like, terrible it would have been to use... A film editing software back then. Like, Jesus, I don't want to Software, know. Geordie? Film editing software? Hardware. What software, Geordie? Yeah, hardware. Yeah, can you imagine G. some, like, intern or something with a tiny-ass little joystick moving it around? <sighs> like, fucking trying to, like, pan and scan this image? Ironically, the way we film now is going to become this cringe at some point as well. Yeah, I get... I mean, we... we that's, that's one interesting thing, is when they film... Like, we can... We have films that are made in uh, 1980 that are on 4K Blu-ray, right? Yeah. Because it was filmed in film, and film doesn't have a resolution. Huh. Like, I don't know if you know this, but film doesn't have pixels. I did not know that at all. Film has, like, it has something, but film is essentially infinite resolution. So when when you watched a film in the theater, they would put it through the film, like, the film, you know, projector and that was just a light that projected it so it has like cells or something but essentially there's no pixels there's nothing it's just like it's just what the film was like there there are dimensions and like there's there's light laws like you can't blow up things like you lose color and shit like that and light but the uh the early the early digitized versions of films looked fucking terrible because you would have to use a scanner that has a fixed resolution like a 480p scanner and that would shine light through the film and then individually pixelize it, right? Right. Whereas now we have 4K scanners and 8K, 8K scanners. You can t- still take that film that has infinite resolution and just get more pixels out of it. Oh, shit. Like, do you know what I mean? So we're not, like, upgrading, sort of, like, we're upgrading the ability well, to capture rather than... Yeah, yeah. Film is fucking terrible, though. It's grainy, like, it degrades. Like, yeah. Like, it, it looks soft, it's hard to produce. Like you need lights and you like, need some refinement. To yeah, it. you can't view yeah. it immediately. You can't monitor the film. Like digital's great, but the thing is, we're we're filming in 1080p still. You can't do shit with that. You can up you can upres it, but that just doesn't doesn't like, look natural half the time or whatever. And it requires like, that million dollar thing. Like yeah, you can use that, but it's 
if, if there's just detail that's not there, if there's detail that's not there, then you just can't get out. So the stuff we're filming right now, we can't do shit with. Whereas stuff filmed in 1980, we can up-res. So Isn't that bizarre? So maybe in 2040, we'll have, like... We we'll still have a lot. That's assuming that we go past 4K, like... Well, we have to, right? There, like, there is, like, a there is like a theoretical limit to what your eyes can perceive, though. Well, that's true. Like, we, once we start talking 96K, yeah. it's like, 96K. what what are, you, what are you even looking at at that point? Nothing. I, that's not going to be a thing, Joey. No, I'm just saying, like, like, once we go crazy with it, which inevitably someone's yeah. going to do, I can see Linus in... Linus Tech Tips in, like, 2080 making the 96K gaming rig yeah. video. <laughs> yeah, for no fucking reason. <laughs> With 600 monitors. He bought he bought two red, red Heliums, like, the fucking most expensive red cameras, like, 40,000 a piece. And he uses one, but he took the other one fucking apart and just left it in a box. Because <laughs> he was going to water cool it. Water cool, water cool it. Like, DIY water cooling a fucking $40,000. Like, actually... Not even that. Like, let me just literally look up how much it was. But yeah, he has this uh, series of videos where he he water cools shit, or I guess it's a series. But he he did a router at one point, which is uh, it was like he did a phone. Yeah, I think he literally set set like a, a MacBook in like a puddle of water since it's unibody. But he uh he he did a like a ten gigabit network switch, and those fuckers get hot. Like my one I have gets really fucking hot. Mm. But. He uh he did this he he, he did a video of literally oh fuck fifty thousand dollars Jesus that's Australian so oh that's, that's probably it's American oh okay no no uh, I was looking at the Monster eight K Monster eight K which is the newest one thirty five megapixel fifty four thousand dollars Helium eight K the thing I, I the thing I the thing I think he got was twenty four thousand dollars that's still a, a lot of money to yeah he break into pieces and forget about yeah he, like I, I don't i think he literally just left it in a bin somewhere in a shelf like collecting dust like in, well, in the hey, warehouse hey. just like oh yeah we're gonna water cool this and i don't i think he still hasn't i think he assembled it at one point and then so fucking somehow it worked but yeah that's that's uh, well, you know it's a crazy thing to me he can do what he wants i guess yeah but do you know what's uh do you know what's strange to me? I was reading out those megapixel ratings. Did you notice anything strange about me saying that that camera was thirty five megapixels? Yeah, that seems low. Yeah. What is, what was the highest megapixel like camera you've heard of recently? I heard of one in the phone, which was 106, 108. Yeah. What what resolution do you think that camera outputs? Like fucking sixteen K or something? Like five K? What, the the phone one? Yeah. Huh. What what like I always thought megapixels were res- resolution. I always thought a megapixel was like a definition of resolution. So did I. Is it not then? It kind of is. What it is is that. So th- these cameras, these red cameras, are expensive because red develops their color sciences. Like they they know how to take the pixels from the sensor and then convert it into something that looks fucking beautiful. Right. So what this 108 megapixel camera does is it it does shoot in like like 100k or something but it, you never see that output that goes into the image processor and then it like down samples it and like does weird magic shit to it and produces you a down sampled beautiful 4 or 5k image right okay so yeah that's just a little tidbit i never like knew about like yeah neither did i because i uh our camera is right now we have the we have uh, i have a note 10 plus and geordie has a s10 plus we have the same cameras but they're like 16 megapixel or something yeah which sounds really fucking low, but they produce beautiful oh, images. Oh, for sure. But I, the last phone I had was an Xperia XZ Premium. It had like a 50 megapixel or something. I could be wrong about these, but it produced like good images, but they were absurdly higher resolution. And yeah, I'm kind of split between what I want. Like, So I, I, I take a lot of pictures of my cat in high light. So I can take good images that have like nice resolution and nice color, but I always want to crop in like pictures and all that. Whereas... With my Note 10, I can do that, but it gets blurry really quickly. I've noticed something that the uh, the focal point of my camera is very odd. Like, the the huh. middle is in focus, obviously, but it very quickly falls off. Like, the outer edges yeah. are a bit blurry. Yeah, like I can a, see that. I haven't yeah. really taken many pictures with my phone. I'm not a big. I'm not. A, I'm not a big like really? photo taker. Yeah, I never really, like, bought a DSLR in Singapore one time. I did buy that, and yeah. I've since upgraded to like an actual camera that I can change the lens DSLR on. DSLR is a camera. You can just that's DSLR fucking. I forget what. No, it, it was for, a but... point and shoot. The one I bought in 
I think it Singapore. was a DSLR though. It had like a little lens. Like it had like a no. You couldn't take the lens off. It was fixed. It was <laughs> what fixed. The fuck? Yeah, and um, the <laughs> so it was like an imitation DSLR. It's from Samsung, supposedly. Like it was from I like believe that. it was from a reputable um, like they have like a big f- um tech building in Singapore. Yeah, I forget yeah. the name of it. And I bought it in there. And um, the fact that the guy opened it in front of you and showed you that it, was fucked. That's what says I think to everyone me else fake. can agree with me that the best part about buying something new is opening it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like yeah. that is the that is some of the joy. Like you've you've you finally saved up yeah, for the thing yeah. that you want, right? You take it home and you get to unbox it and you go, "It's is this mine yeah, now?" Yeah, you can smell. And the he factory. took that away from yeah. me. Yeah. While I was there, he was like, uh, "I'm gonna put the SIM card in it now." I'm like, "Yeah, okay." <laughs> Uh, like not expecting him Starts to like actually fucking literally camera. manhandle. Yeah. He opened the box, took everything out, mm. p- fucking put the battery in, licked the put, lens. It pretty, he might as well have Sniff, sniffed the charging port. I would have been less mad with him if he just fucking licked the lens, because then I would have <laughs> laughed at least. It wasn't virgin anymore, Jordy. Because it was just a trip that I took with my dad, and I just looked over at him, and he was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, and I was like, "That's like, that's like normal though, since there's a lot of like faking and copying in like well, the that's Asian true. countries." Like, that's kind of racist to say, but these, uh, like, I think it was fake what you bought. Like, it I probably really, was. Yeah, cause the that fact- being said, that being said, mm. I've since given it to a friend of mine. Yeah. And he, like, it takes very nice pictures. Yeah. Better than the camera that I bought. Yeah. For, like, okay. um, I've noticed, like, if I was just to point and shoot a picture mm. of you right now. Yeah. The one on that Samsung camera would actually turn out better than the one. It's... It's it's probably it's probably like already from like it was an, it's a Nikon that I have like a thirty two hundred yeah but it, it, it's it's depending on your skill like the, well that's true the My, Samsung one was probably like out of the box configured for like yeah. medium light scenarios and shit you know so yeah it's it's like because it's like a direct point and shoot you can't change the lens it's got like yeah. all the formatting and stuff in it and mm. I am like I know my way around a camera but like I don't really know extensively yeah like I'm not a photographer by any means I just like to. I can around with it. I can tinker around and get something that looks yeah, okay exactly every like now and then. <laughs> yeah, on accident when the lighting's right and I've yeah. accidentally got the right settings on. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. I do have something last that I want to talk about before we go today. Um, it takes me about twenty minutes to drive to your house. Yeah. From here, so I have like a bit of a drive on the way there, and I was driving, <laughs> and um, it's like a collection day soon around here yeah so everyone's got like their shit piled up in their front yard and i was looking on my way up here and it was like halfway through someone had like they dumped like a bar fridge and a bunch of their like furniture out there Mm -hmm. but this fridge was so fucking disgusting that it was like black on the inside the door was off and it was like growing shit and i was like dude if gordon ramsay saw that on kitchen nightmares or whatever (laughs) dude he would have a field day i would love to see what he said about that Kitchen Nightmares is like a guilty pleasure of mine because yeah. I just like to see him fuck his it's, shit on stupid people. It's It rides such a fine line between good and trash TV. Th- yeah, that's true. Yeah. And also, it also borderlines on being like straight up like abusive <laughs> and not, not yeah. like very good at all. I think of it more of it's negative reinforcement, so... It is negative yeah. reinforcement. People are more likely to be scared and not do it again, yeah. I guess. The Scottish guy yells at them. Sc- is he's he British? Scottish? No, he's British. No. English, really? English, yeah. yeah. I shouldn't say British, should I? Eh, depends. I think he's from London. London, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you for listening to this week's Split View. Um, we'll see you next week. We'll be me hosting. All right. And, um, yeah, catch you later. All right, thanks.